okay guys so in this video we are going to demonstrate uh, a very simple problem that uh, usually when you're pushing to get help you might find right so you have a file and uh, on this on this machine you've already signed up to get help and then later you find out that when you try to sign into a different account to push your code it doesn't work so I'm going to demonstrate it and we'll see how that is and also I'll show you how to fix it uh, in a very short while So in this file, this is just for testing, right? So let me initialize git here. So we say git init. And then let me uh, add all the files. So git add and then git push, uh, git commit, sorry. Git commit, git commit dash m. And let's call it initial commit, right? Standard stuff, initial commit like this, good. So we have this done. So the next thing I need to do is to push this to GitHub. So uh, head over to this place, create the repository name. Let me just call it test, test repo, right? And then let's create, it's public. Let's create this repository. So we just follow the standard steps and that is uh, create the branch. So let me copy this code, get branch, head back, set the branch and then let's set the origin right so this is the origin we set the origin as well and then we try to push to this place so this is where the problem might arise and the problem is because i have already signed into a different github account here so if i try to push i get issues and it says what permission to this uh, code which I repo is denied by dev space systems now dev space systems is the new uh, system the new account I signed into github so you might have this issue arising all the time so I'm going to show you how to fix this right now so right now if we try to uh, check which account is currently on uh, and you write the command git uh, config dash dash global sorry dash dash global dash list sorry dash dash list sorry my bad dash dash list you see we have the username and the email set to dev space system so the first thing we need to do is to change this to uh the new uh account we want to sign in right so let's do that so we go ahead to write the command get config dash dash global sorry dash dash global and then we pass in the user name right so the username is code with sheriga it can be any name you want right so i'm going with code with sheriga and then we need to pass in the email as well so get config dash dash global <laughs> why do i keep messing this up dash dash global user dot email so here it's going to be code with sheriga at gmail.com like this hit enter but still if we try to push now we'll still get the error and the reason is because we have to change it at the user settings so let me just demonstrate it so you see so if i run git push right now git push we still get the issue that permission to code with sheriga even though we've passed in these variables we still get the issue that we are being denied so how do we fix this well we have to head over to control panel so go to control panel over here and then head over to user accounts so under user accounts come to credential manager right credential manager and then check the uh, what do you call it windows credentials you have now look out for github right over here github and then you find the username so this is still storing it over there and that is why we are having that issue so simply just remove it remove it like this and you should be good to go so the next thing you have to do is to sign into the new account and everything should work fine right so let's do that okay so right now let's test to see whether uh 
what do you call it the credentials we just set are still on so we double check here get config dash dash global make sure sorry that was a mistake on my part it has to be two dashes yeah and then we realize that we've now set it to code with shariga and the email is code with shariga at gmail.com so the next thing we need to do is now connect this to uh the github repo or uh, the the remote repository we have right so we come over here to source control click on publish branch so this will give us a little pop-up and it will ask us to sign in uh to github right so i already have an account if you don't have an account you can easily switch so click on sign in and this will take you give you a unique url and then you use that to sign in so here i have it and it says authentication succeeded so i can now close this tab and push to github and the reason is why because i already have this open so it automatically detects that so let me minimize this now let's try to push again so this time if i write git push uh-huh and we see that everything is up to date and it has successfully done that so if we go back to our code i refresh and then we see that this test uh what do you call it program we just wrote is there right so that was the basics of that was just the reason of making this video i find that a lot of people find troubles with this some time ago i used to have trouble about it so i forget it may you might find it useful in uh if you want to change your github credentials or something like that so if you found it useful please don't forget to leave the like share and subscribe and i'll catch you in the next video